Are you surprised that your Prime Minister didn't show up to Davos? Uh, yes, I think our Prime Minister should have showed up at <laughs> Davos. Right. I absolutely do. Um, and one of the things that's been, um, you know, impressed on me since I've been here is the absence of the United Kingdom. And that's why it's really important that um, I'm here and that our Shadow Chancellor Rachel Reeves is here as a statement of intent that should there be a change of government, and I hope there will be, um, the United Kingdom will play its part on the global stage in a way I think it probably hasn't in recent years. And so that's my opportunity to say why we're here. I do think the Prime Minister um, should be here having these discussions, having the meetings that I've been having. Um, I want to say just a little bit about the IRA because I think um, it's very easy to sort of retreat um, and to see challenge. I actually think it should be a catalyst for all of us to say, well, come on, um, there is a challenge in relation to the climate crisis. That's been there for a very long time. Um, but the Ukraine conflict has brought that into sharp focus. Um, and we need to stop seeing it as just a challenge. Say, so, well, it's actually the single biggest opportunity we've been given for a very long time to transition, to take the jobs and opportunities of the future. I do think that um, that requires a different view of the state and this is something that will happen if we have a Labour government in the United Kingdom because what we want is an active state that is not saying well look we're going to suck it all up to the centre, not saying we're going to leave it to the private sector but a state that partners with the private sector to take these opportunities and you know one of the things I'd say about renewables is look um, we do need to drive down the price, they are you know cheaper in the UK um, renewables are nine times cheaper uh, than oil and gas. At the moment. It's economic sense to press forward here to innovate uh, and make sure that you know an active state knocks out the barriers. There's no end of businesses that are saying to me, we could go faster here on the renewables, but there's bureaucracy, there's planning, there's all the things that get in the way. Um, and I think an active state says, right, we partner with that, we knock them out of the way, and we drive forward, because the prize here is huge in terms of energy security. And that shouldn't be something which is national. It's in all of our interest to have energy security. It's in all of our interest to make sure that Putin can't weaponize energy across the world, um, whether it's now or any time in the future. So that's why, you know, there's an element, um, of course, of each country trying to rise to this challenge themselves. But there is also an element of mutual cooperation in this um, in relation to the mutual threats that we are facing. And um, that's why I'm very keen to develop this idea of Clean Power Alliance, which, as I say, is an inverse OPEC in the sense that the, the purpose is to drive down those prices across the globe. When you say active state, you're not talking about nationalizing industry? No, completely um, the opposite. So if um, we do come into government... Um, what changed your mind? Because I know at some point in the recent past you were for nationalizing and Well, we looked at... And... When, we, when the energy prices went through the roof in the summer, um, we had a good hard think about what... Because, you know, Consumers, families across the United Kingdom were really worried because their prices were you know, doubling, tripling, and um, there was already a cost of living crisis. And we looked at the cost of taking energy companies into public ownership and had to make a decision. Do we use such money as available to pay off the shareholders so that you can have a publicly owned asset which does nothing to drive down bills? Or do we drive down bills for people who are struggling to make ends meet? We took the second choice, having looked at those two options. Um, and I think that's the right thing. Having said that, I think an active state, we would create a vehicle, um, Great British Energy, which would be a, a vehicle to take advantage of investment in cooperation um, in renewables as we go forward. So there's a very pragmatic approach to this in the light of a very, very serious cost of living crisis. Do you feel that the United Kingdom would be in the economic hold that it's in right now had there not been a Brexit? Well, they were still part of Europe. I, I think that if you look at the United Kingdom, for 13 years the Achilles heel has been failure to grow the economy. And so this predated Brexit. Brexit made um, that even harder um, and that's why we've been making the case for a closer economic relationship with the EU. But it's not just the EU. We've not had a strategic plan in the United Kingdom for 10 years. 
Um, and if you don't have a strategic plan, it's very hard to attract investment. And if you look at um, the investment, foreign direct investment into the UK, um, under the last Labour government, it was about 8%. Now it's about 4%. Uh, that is driven by the sense of instability and drift that there is at the moment. And, you know, we, we burned through three prime ministers, four chancellors and four budgets in the last 12 months. That is, that is not, they are not the conditions uh, for um, stability. And that's why um, it's very important that we make it clear as an incoming Labour government that stability and economic growth, restoring trust in the institutions that give that um, credibility and trust, the OBR, the Bank of England, is very, very important to the project of ensuring that uh, in that way we can match private, uh, a public uh, investment with private investment and in that way unlock the huge potential there is. I mean, the UK has got brilliant universities, brilliant scientists, brilliant innovation. We've got all the attributes for um, investment. We just need to create the circumstance, the environment in which we can change around what I think is the drift. And that drift is managed. The, the fact that our Prime Minister is not here, I think, is evidence of the drift. Um, and we intend to reverse that.